हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक अगेन माई सेल्फ अदुल हुसैन शेख असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑटोमोबाइल डिपार्टमेंट एल जी आई टी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ऑटोमोटिव एंड कम्बसन इंजिन टेक्नोलॉजी एंड द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज टू वन एट जीरो टू वन फाइव सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ इंट्रोडक्शन सेशन सो इन अवर इन अवर सब्जेक्ट द वर्स्ट द फर्स्ट एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज द ओवर व्यू ऑफ गैसोलिन डायरेक्ट इंजेक्शन सिस्टम so what is gasoline over direct injection systems nowadays we are all using uh, petrol cars and we are using different different types of engines like uh, vvt engines vtvt engines mpi engines lmpi mp engines dmpfi engines so in this particular chapter we are going to discuss about overview of gasoline direct injection system uh, gda system is the most important part of the petrol injection body and In this particular chapter, we are going to discuss about technologies for high efficiency direct injection gasoline engines, as well as high pressure fuel injection systems and various exhaust emission technologies and after treatment device. So it is the most important chapter of the ACET. In very second chapter, we are going to discuss about stratified charge combustion with GDI technology. So what is stratified charge? basically stratified charge uses 40 gem 1 30 gem 1 or 20 gem 1 compression ratio we all know that petrol engine compression ratio is so low around 8 gem 1 or 10 gem 1 but but in this particular stratified charge combustion engine technology gdi technology uses 20 gem 2 20 gem 1 to 40 gem 1 compression ratio and it gives very high power output and very high torque range compared to mpfi body emp empfi lmpfi body and dmpfi body so in this particular chapter we are going to discuss about thermodynamics analysis and its combustion processes and in this particular chapter we are also going to discuss about production engine with stratified charge gasoline injection technology uh, nowadays uh, vw mazda toyota Uh, there are so many industries nowadays they are using stratified charge body in particular third chapter and most important chapter of your subject turbocharged direct injection spark ignition engines we all know that uh, turbocharged nowadays using in diesel engines only but in upcoming era and we all know that uh, uh, vw already launched its tsi body with turbocharged stratified injection body with uh, uh, hbec hbec series so in this particular chapter and but in this particular uh, topic we are going to discuss about turbocharge in si engines so uh, which are the advantages of turbocharge system in si engines uh, which are the main drawbacks of the turbocharge in si engines as well as we are going to discuss about historical background for turbocharger and for its high output and we are also going to be discuss about problems and challenges challenges associated with turbocharged spark ignition system right so we can say that uh, in particular chapter we are going to discuss about advantages disadvantages application how can we use turbocharge in petrol engines as well as which are the main problems directly connected with turbocharge in si engines there are so many problems like mechanical loading thermal loading drawback ratio air fuel ratio and a uh, plenum chamber uh, as well as plenum chamber difficulties so there, these are the mainly difficulties uh, ar uh, arise in petrol engines while using turbocharge in si engine so in this particular chapter we are going to discuss about turbocharged body in si engines right now next topic is that is the direct injection gasoline body with auto ignition temperature right uh auto ignition body is the most vital part of the si engine so in this particular chapter uh, direct injection gasoline engines with auto ignition combustion technology we are going to discuss about principle of auto uh, ignition technologies as well as different types of approaches in auto ignition body as well as in this particular chapter we are also going to discuss about operation and control of the gdi system with auto ignition body right uh, 
Mercedes Benz, Mazda, uh, they 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 had already already introduced their engines with automation combustion technology, right? Now, most important part of the subject is homogeneous charge compression ignition engines, right? SCCI body. Uh, so, in this particular chapter, we are going to discuss about gasoline SCCI body. Generally, gasoline SCCI body works on the homogeneous charge and with the high compression ratio of 20 gem 1 or 40 gem 1. And in this particular ch uh, chapter, we are also going to discuss about advantages, disadvantages and application of the SCCI body. And we can also say that uh, there is uh, some uh, limitations of SCCI body like uh, operational limits like we can say that uh, SCCI body uh, directly uh, we cannot use directly SCCI body in SI engines. So we can say that SCCI homogeneous charge compressor uh, ignition system is the very uh, basics and useful technology uh, which we will which will which we are going to use in automotive combustion technology. So these are the basic five chapters of our total syllabus. First one is the overview of gasoline direct injection technology. Second one is static fight charge. Third one is the turbo uh, turbo charge direct injection technology. Fourth one is the auto ignition technology. And fifth one is the homogeneous charge compression ignition system. Right. So I can say that uh, in this particular subject, we are also going to discuss about first generation engines, second generation engines and advanced generation engines and we are directly compare it with right carburetor bodies, MPFI bodies and uh, diesel injection bodies. So in this particular subject we are also going to discuss about uh, some after treatment devices right which can reduce emission like NOx, H, uh, NOx reduction, sulfur, sulfur reduction, CO and HO reduction and and we are also going to discuss about some basic uh, fundamentals regarding uh, IC engines as well as combustion engine technology. So in whole chapter you can learn about stratified charge, CAI technology as well as you are also going to learn about some after treatment devices and you are also going to uh, learn about some SCCI bodies, SACI bodies as well as control auto ignition technology. So this is the overview and basic introductory chapter of the uh, section, uh, session of the automotive combustion engine and technology. So thank you.